All right, how's it going everybody? And welcome back to the Tech Stack Playbook. We are at an undisclosed location. So super secret, super secret, but we're here for AWS's Hero Summit. So actually really exciting. This is the first uh, global Hero Summit. And uh, I, first of all, like, I'm, I'm super grateful to even be here. Uh, AWS flew us out and, uh, and if you don't know about AWS, it's Amazon Web Services there, uh, the largest cloud provider. So any application, uh, any website, any software that you use, probably hosted on AWS or using one of their 200 plus services. So they have stuff for authentication, for storage, for data, um, AI, machine learning, of course. Uh, and then they also have virtual servers that you can run software on, but that you can also run it in a serverless way where you rent out space or capacity um, on one of their uh, one of their servers that they manage. So super cool um, to, to even be here, and I literally can't talk about any of it. Again, it's like super super secret, so I cannot literally share anything other than it's going great, and I'm very excited to be here. But one of the things that uh, came up was how I became an AWS hero, and a lot of uh, people were asking like, what's the AWS Heroes program? So um, I'm one of about 200 globally selected uh, technical expert uh, people that AWS selects. So they have a whole selection process and you're vetted a lot on your technical uh, expertise, your contributions to the AWS community. Um, are you providing value to the industry? Are you a thought leader? Those types of criteria. So I became an AWS hero last year and that actually marks four years for me in tech. So of course that's not really, it's like pretty fast, right? For like to climb from like getting started in tech to then becoming an AWS hero. And a lot of people were asking, how did I make that jump so quickly? And I, it really comes back to how you structure your days and how you structure your time and also your motivation and your inspiration. And I would say that for anybody that wants to get into software engineering, um, there's really two things that I think you need. First of all, you need to be incredibly, incredibly excited about something. So that's the thing, like if you really wanna change your life, if you really want to you know, level up, if you want to ascend to you know, your highest form of self, you really need to be excited about that. And that's gonna be the excitement that drives you when things aren't working out, when things aren't going well, you're gonna be just so amped up and excited to keep pushing forward, to overcome obstacles and challenges. So I think that first of all, is you need to have that motivation and then you also just need to put in the hours and the work. And you, you might be surprised at how long it might take you to do something that you've never done before. So for me, becoming technical was actually very difficult. Um, so f I really kind of stayed away from the math and the sciences. I mean, as much as you like need to take those classes, you know, for your GPA or core requirements or those types of things. But I, I really just didn't get math. I didn't get a lot of the logic and the reasoning. And I think a part of it was also like, I I didn't have a teacher that kind of got me as interested in those topics as other teachers. But then I think also just how I was brought up, I was brought up in a very, you know, creative upbringing. So, you know, you're thinking about like creative arts, studio arts, um, you think about graphic design, you think about, you know, building things, creating presentations and projects. You're not necessarily thinking about, you know, architecting, you know, like code, you know, or like being IT or, or being a techie. So that was just not what I had done or grown up doing. So for me to sort of jump into tech, I was, I got really excited about it during the pandemic. And um, for me, like that was one of the things that I think really set me going because I, first of all, in 2019, that was when I first went to my first hackathon and loved it. Um, it was ETH Boston, had an amazing experience and it inspired me so much that I literally left that weekend thinking, okay, I want to become a software engineer. How do I do this? So I ended up um, co-founding a project for open source during the pandemic um, from people that I had met at that hackathon. And that was where I got into AWS. We were using Lambda for microservices and everything just kind of like blossomed from there. So once we started building out this like 400 developer discord server, everything kind of just like amplified and amplified. I mean, we were teaching each other how to build, you know, full stack software, all of us, we were 
you know, learning all these different integrations and different companies and different services. And that's where I ended up uh, learning about the AWS Community Builders program. I became a community builder. And um, through that, I then applied through the AWS All Builders Welcome Grant Program. And that actually flew me out to AWS reInvent. And I can tell you, like, being in the room with all these smart, amazing technical experts honestly changed the game for me. It was like, I got to see how they actually do it in real life. And that was just so cool. So being able to just get that access is something that I was just so grateful for the grant program to provide for me because, uh, oh, of course, not only did I meet like my closest friends in tech through this program, which I'm just so grateful for, but being able to just learn and build. And they had workshops at the conference. So I got to just play around with a bunch of the services and learn how they work in a very low stakes environment. And then actually learn from real companies how they're architecting on the cloud. And I really left that, con uh, that conference thinking, okay, like if I know these skills, then I could work for any company because then I know what the companies need to have people knowing. So that's then, so through AWS All Builders Welcome Grant Program, that then really kickstarted a lot of where I was thinking, okay, like maybe I should start building an application. So then a year later in 2022, because um, that was 2021 when I went to the conference, 2022 was when I ended up speaking at AWS reInvent um, on full stack software development in the cloud, which was so cool, so amazing. The next year I ended up speaking at the New York summit and that was about uh, serverless micropayments and using lambdas to run software without containers. And um, ironically enough, now actually I'm doing a lot of stuff with containers. So it just shows you that you can evolve through your career. But then that was in 2023. And then um, end of 2023, I became an AWS hero. But I structured every single day around like, as soon as I wake up, can I get a couple of hours in to practice, to build, to do something that's technical before I have to do work? And sometimes like your work might not be the skills. Like you might be learning skills that are separate from your work. And I totally encourage that. I think that if you can learn things outside of your work, that will help you so much because then maybe you learn things that could actually help you in your work, or maybe that could help you get into work that you want to get into, you know, maybe outside of the company that you're at, or maybe you want to, you know, get a promotion and you want to move up in the company. So you'd have skills that you're learning about that can propel you forward. So I would say that is probably like also one of the best things that you can do. Um, and that's what I did. So it was like the, the morning, like when I wake up, can I get some hours in before I'm going to work? When I get back from work, um, you know, or when I log off from work for the day, can I get, you know, the evening? Can I get like six or seven hours of just pure focused study, work, building, anything that I can do to get sort of into a mindset of now I have like a whole other day because you have you know you like your morning there's like a couple hours but then you have your, your day of work but then in the evening time you have like almost like another day you have like a, almost like a full like maybe five to seven hours or even four but that's kind of like maybe like a part-time job time type amount of time so being able to structure your days really effectively was what helped me get into even possibly being considered for AWS heroes because I was basically having like two days in one and you do that over many months, over several years, you'd be surprised at how fast and how far you can go when you actually just lock in, stay focused, do the work, put in the hours, and be excited about it and be about it. And I think that's another thing too, where when you're really about your growth, that is just paramount to actual success. Like that's how you'll actually find real success. And that's what um, I've, when I was meeting with a lot of these AWS heroes that, you know, I know, you know, either like in person or like I'm meeting them for the first time, like everybody just got excited about something. Like it was like, maybe it was like how to build a specific technology for an industry or how to figure something out. But it was like, once they figured out their motivation and their core drive, it was like, okay, we have a candle, it's lit, now it's gonna keep burning for a while. And we're gonna just keep building and building and upskilling. And I, I think that's the recipe to success here, is that you don't necessarily need to know the path forward, but just be about it, be excited about it, be ready to adventure towards that path forward. But yeah, so the summit has been absolutely incredible. It's been so exciting, just also to meet a lot of people that I know as like digital virtual friends in real life, um, and if you're following along, like I'm sure you're probably seeing those on my IG stories or you know on social media, but um, it's just so amazing to be around other people that are just like about it. They're just like about building and learning and growing together and building cool technology together and teaching each other cool things. I think there's, there's something special about that. And I just love those types of environments where you're just, it's all learning, it's all growth, it's all positive, just great vibes all around. 
And again, I'm super grateful for AWS for having us, uh, for flying us out and having us be a part of this amazing program, this amazing community. And I'm really just excited to see all the things that all of us are going to build together and support each other. And again, I'm so grateful to even be here. So I mean, to be one of about 200 AWS heroes selected globally is just, first I just so much gratitude and I'm so thankful for that. And it's just so humbling to know that when you put in the work, people will recognize that. And, you know, it, it's that doing that over and over and over again, you know, even months or years when things don't feel like it's working to then be at a place like this is just, oh my gosh, I'm just so much gratitude. I'm so thankful. And I'm just really excited to also bring you along for this journey as well. So if you have any questions or comments about AWS Heroes program, my journey into tech, if you're even interested in like leveling up in tech, like feel free to drop a message in the comments below and let me know what you're curious about because a lot of what I've been posting about um, just online, it sparked a lot of dialogues of people saying like, I want to like change my life. I want to change careers. I want to, and maybe it doesn't even need to be in tech, but they're just like, I want something different. And I hope that my journey can show you that it is possible and that you can change your life. You can level up. You can be that person that you have on your vision board, on your dream board, or you know, your mood board or whatever, whatever you do, or even just in your mind or in your notepad. You can be that person. You just need to like stay focused, repeat, rinse and repeat, and just keep going. And like, if anybody doubts you, if anybody says like, oh, good luck. Oh, you, you can't do this, but like, whatever, I'll see you when you when you fail or something like that. Like, don't listen to any of those people. Like a lot of people, like, and I, and I found this, a lot of people will be very supportive just in and around what you're doing. You just need to find those people and support them as well. But I've just been like really inspired by a lot of people that they see goodness in you, they see greatness in you, like they, they, they are excited that you're excited and then they wanna help you. So find people that are farther downfield than you and ask them questions. Just be like, hey, I wanna do what you're doing. How do I do that? Or like, I wanna get started. What's the best way for me to learn how to do X, Y, and Z? But be really actionable. Like, don't just be like, oh, I wanna be X, Y, Z. Be like, what would be like five steps I could take or three steps I could take to get on a path towards where you are? And you'd be surprised at how many people just like, if you just message them on LinkedIn or you know any of the other social media platforms, like people will respond. And usually I'd say like 20% of the time, like one out of every five people will actually really wanna help. And they'll actually be like, oh, I wanna help you. And like, I wanna get somebody else going where I am. So just the gratitude of people on the internet and people that you network with, you never know where those connections will lead. So I hope that this video is helpful for anybody that wants to change their life. They want to level up. They want to maybe do something that actually excites them. And it's totally possible. It's totally possible to change your life. Um, and that's something where, again, like going from completely non-technical field, like social media and public relations to software engineering and IT, huge shift. But it is possible when you put in the work, when you're focused, and when you're excited and about it. So with that, I hope this video is really helpful for you on your career journey, whether that's in tech or another field. Um, feel free to drop comments below about what you're interested in, if that's questions about how to get started in software engineering, how to level up in tech, how to um, even just like change careers, go into cloud, um, maybe what the AWS Heroes program is. Let me know what your questions, so like drop them below. And with that, I'll see you all next time. All right, thanks everybody, bye.